In this video, I'm going to show you how you can merge two video files or combine two video files that are of the same frame rate and parameters. Now, I'll show you the two videos. Here is a video that I recorded a while back on reducing the space of your icons up in the panel, and I had to reboot the system, and here's where I uh, filmed the second part. And before I upload it on YouTube, I merged the two together, and I thought this is a great time to show how I did that in case someone's starting a new YouTube channel and they're showing how to install something on their computer and reboot. Then there's multiple programs you can do out there. You can use Shotcut or any of the video editing tools, but most of those require you to render to join the two files. This is a way you can do it without rendering. And the program is called Avid Demux, and I'll also refer to as AVI Demux. Now, I do have uh, a website where I show you how to install it on an Ubuntu Mate or Ubuntu system and the derivatives, and I show you how to remove it. And if you're on a different platform, if you click some of the links below, you can install it for a Windows system or a Mac system or different platforms. But that's not what I'm showing you in this video. I'm going to show you how to merge them. On the, this link here, I show you the step-by-step -step instructions, and I'll provide a link for both of these, how to install them, and the step-by-step -step instructions for merging your videos. Now let me minimize that and get that out of the way. Let me open up the program. It's in my sound and video uh, folder, and I click on to the AVI Demux or Avid Demux. And in a moment, it will load. Currently, uh, the release that's currently out is the Avid Demux 2.74. If you're watching this video later, there may be a newer release, and it still works with even an older release. Now, to start with, you gotta load the video. You can drag the video and drop it on the program, or you can go to the File menu, click the Open command, and click onto your first video. You need to click on them and load them in the order you want to combine them. So the first one you load will be the first video that you start to see. So I labeled mine the same name and then I put part one. So I click on to open. It takes a few moments and it will load it into the program. You've got a lot of features here and you've got a lot of features within the menu. Uh, this will do a lot more than combining or joining videos. For this particular video, I'm only focusing on joining the videos. Now, like I said earlier, the videos has to have the same frame rate and the same parameters. So I used a simple screen recorder at the time I videoed those and it was the same machine so they had the same parameters. And then the next thing you want to do is click back on the file menu but instead of clicking open you're going to click on the append command. When you click on the append command you will have a dialog box to, that will open just like the open dialog box but this is to select a video file to append. This time I want to select part two. Now let me cancel. I want to show you something real quickly. The first video uh, that I loaded was three minutes and 26 seconds. So when I open the second one, it's going to combine the time of this video plus the first video and show you the combined total. So when I hit open, it's going to take a moment or two and it loaded. And as you can see, the total video now is six minutes and 49 seconds. So when I combine the files, the total video will be the 649. So now to join them, before I go to File and hit Save, there's a couple things you want to do. My original videos, you can see, has an extension, MP4, MP4. By default, when you install this, the output will be MKV, but you can change that. You can click the drop-down menu, and you can change it to an AVI. You can change it to an F. LV. You can change it to the MP4 to match the original file extension for the videos. You can leave the MKV if you like that. You can change it to the WebM. So you have multiple options. I'm going to choose the MP4. Now the first time I ever started using this program, I didn't realize there was a configure here. And by the default in an earlier version, even though it was a 16.9 resolution, it converted it to a 4.3, which made it a box view. And I didn't like it. Then I realized that, well, you can go to the configure key. You can change your format here, but I'm going to leave it at MP4. And if it changes, like it's a 16.9, nine uh, ratio here you can drop it down change it to 43 18 9 64 27 but i'm going to leave the default 16 9. if for some reason it's coming up with 43 like the older version that i had on here then you can click this right here to say force the aspect ratio to where it stays on 16 9 but since that is already selected and you also have a choice where you can rotate your video file 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees, so it will be sideways or upside down. But like I said, since that is already 16.9, I'm going to click on OK. 
So if for some reason you forgot to click configure and you had an older version, you merged them together, if it appeared boxed shape, you can go to configure and force it to stay on 16.9. Now, all you simply do is click on file menu, save, and it will come up giving you a chance to save the file name by giving you a file name here. Now it's taking the very first one and taking that and put edit. So up here, instead of rewriting the whole file name, I can come up here and delete this out and I can call this combined. And then when I hit the save button, it's going to go through and it's done. It's that quick. It doesn't have to render to the two videos. I can close this out. I can close this out. I can go into my videos folder and there's part one, there's part two, and there's the combined part. Now let me go to the end of part one and the beginning of part two and then we'll go to that location and see how smooth the transition was compared to the original files. So let me open up part one and the end of that video is three minutes. I'm going to turn it down a little. Uh, as you can see the end of it is 326 so I'm going to fast forward to the end and then I will turn up the volume so you can hear and hear on the other. All right, that was the end of that one. Now here's the beginning. Okay, I'm back. As you can see, uh, the icon All right, those were the two combined videos. Now I'm going to go to 326 or a little before so you can hear how smoothly it combined the two. So 326 a little bit before 326. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can reduce the space. So I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, I'm back. As you can see, uh, the icons are All right, as you saw in the video, there was no glitch. There was no sound glitch. It took both of these files and perfectly combined them to where there was no glitch in the video or audio. But like I said, the key thing is, is to make sure, and this is for the first one, make sure your media information for both videos are the same. Now that's not to say you can't combine two of two different uh, frame rates. What you'll need to do is probably use a program like Handbrake and convert them to where they're both the th like 30 frames per second. So if this one would have been like 30 frames per second and this one would have been something like 27 point some frames per second, there would have probably been a glitch when I merged them together. To keep it smooth, you want to make sure that your uh, frames per second and your dimensions like 1366 by 768 which is the 169 ratio are the same which you have here so you want to make sure that they both match and if they do it will produce a nice smooth video and audio combined files so hopefully this video has helped you understand how to combine two videos into one smooth lossless video i hope this has been helpful to you and have a great day